Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Ford B Max, then I'll take you for riding it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 1 litre T EcoBoost Titanium X, a real good spec, which I'll tell you about in a short while. Mileage 28,361, two registered owners, MOT until the 31st of the 8th, 2021, last serviced on the 14th of the 8th, 2020. Fuel economy, urban 47.1 miles per gallon, extra urban 67.3 miles per gallon, and combined is 57.7 miles per gallon. Top speed of 117 miles per hour out of a three cylinder, 123 brake horsepower, 12 valve engine. Road tax is only £30 per year for this car and it's got a full service history. So great spec little car here. Um, we've got the front parking sensors, the kind of the Aston Martin uh, grille at the, at the bottom there, a front splitter, snowflake design alloy wheels, good tyres all round, power folding door mirrors, got the full panoramic uh, glass sunroof there, the chrome window surrounds. You've also got the um, little button on the door handles as long as you've got the keys on you if you just press that button it'll close and again when you've if you've got the keys on you when you come back press the button again and the uh, the door will open rear privacy glass good feature on this car now I do really like it I, w I wish the front doors had, had open like this as well but obviously it would be slightly more difficult but there you go so uh, nice if all doors were like this, we'd save an absolute fortune with our dent man getting parking dents done and everything. Just open straight up, narrow gap, not opening your door into anything and uh, other people not opening their door into you. But what it also does mean is it's the, the front doors, I'll try and remember to show you later, but instead of just having a catch in the middle, a door catch normally round about there on the car, there's one at the bottom and one at the top. And also the door feels really, really substantial. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that'll be a benefit, it, it, you know, in the event of a crash or anything. We've got this color coded spoiler there, electric boot release. You can just see there, that's the lens for the reversing camera, reversing sensors there. So if you're reversing to anything in this, you, you need shooting. There's quite a lot of space in, uh, kind of a, that, that looks like 70-30 sort of split seat there, or 66-34 split seat. Um, rear load cover, it's, it's mint in the back, don't look like anything at all has been in here. The only thing probably is, is my camera equipment. You've also got, kind of got a false floor there, so you can, uh, you can put other stuff on, underneath there, so it makes a big, bigger loading area. And also little hooks in the back, hang your shopping on. As I say, I, I think that's a, a fairly good design. It's really nice in here. Um, we do have the three inertia reel belts here, Isofix child seat anchor points. It's half leather, certainly feels like leather anyway, and, and cloth in the center. Kind of magazine nets here. We've also got uh, electric rear windows, but this glass panoramic roof, it stretches the complete length of the car, and uh, you've got the good old fashioned <laughs> pull blind instead of the electric one that uh, may go wrong and cost you a fortune. And the other great thing, just to make it even easier to get in, <laughs> if you're struggling to get in the back really, you can also open the front door and you, the whole of the side is, is kind of empty. Put, the, put this seat forward and if you've got uh, elderly uh, relatives or, or old car salesmen, it just makes them easier to get in. So uh, rear centre armrest, Carpets over, carpet over mat. It's it, the car's absolutely mint. It really is. It's like brand new. It's a lovely car. I'll just take you for riding it. So we have the two remote Ford key fobs. 
but it is keyless entry and keyless go so foot on the clutch press the power button and uh, away we go I'll just turn that down in case it turns my Bluetooth on the seat belt is actually because there's no actual seat put um, in well there's no actual B pillar it's all part of the doors structure the you can see there the inertia reel belt is actually built into the seats and the seats feel really substantial as well <clears throat> it's it's a little car but it feels like a bigger one if that makes sense we've also there you see got reversing camera and reversing sensors nice and easy to drive let me just uh, before we set off I better just show you this there you go I don't think that's ever been used since it was first registered so uh, height and reach adjustable steering wheel and let's just see um, power folding door mirrors we'll just check that they're working okay flip that across there yep that's working fine <coughs> not a really a fantastic driving instructor there perhaps needs to uh, next lesson right away Great Ford gearbox, proper handbrake, cup holders in the centre here. We've got also there heated seats. So it's a fantastic spec. We've also managed to pick up a, a fly here. Oh. Gosh, that uh, that heated seat is absolutely nuclear. Got uh, height adjustable seat as well. And it's only a one litre three cylinder engine, so it's really economical. And uh, it actually sounds a lot better than a four cylinder. Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. Here we've got a power socket, an auxiliary in, a USB in. Electric windows all around, as you can see. And I forgot, put my window down and forgot my uh, GoPro was stuck to it. And full length panoramic glass roof. Blame me, I thought I'd switch them. Tell you what, <clears throat> I need a holiday. I thought I'd switch the uh, electric seat off as well. Not good. On the multifunction steering wheel here, we've got cruise control on the side there. So we've got on in the centre. And then you can set either the plus or the minus and then you can use the plus or minus to uh, adjust or moderate your speed just need to reduce that now we're into the 30 mile an hour zone Go, camera's gone off again. Okay, well, I just had to uh, restart my camera. We'll see how long it lasts this time. And uh, I'll turn the air conditioning down to low. On the dash here, on the left hand side, we've got rev counter, then information display in the center. On the 
right hand side speedo we'll go a different way today I don't, I don't think anybody who buys this car is probably going to be buying it to go down the motorway so we'll just do a, a little bit of town driving if these people hurry up and get out of the way Good driving position, with it being a higher up, you get more leg room, not in length but in height, so we're nice and comfortable. Seats are really comfortable, well, well padded. So good level of equipment. Um, let me just see if I can. Um, auxiliary, let's turn this down. Wait till it starts playing. There you go, and if I turn it up. Bit of a depressing record there, but <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice, happy car. It's a real three cylinder it's flipping fly. <laughs> this uh, three cylinder engine, real punchy little engine, very economical. And I suppose it, it's ideal um, for round town. I'm, I'm not sure whether the one litre three cylinder is an engine to be blasting up and down the motorway at uh, 70, 80 miles an hour all the time and I have used a focus one litre eco boost and, and to be fair it was very good and it was very very economical around town uh, but to be honest at 70 miles an hour it wasn't as economical as, a, as it could have been really certainly not as economical as probably a, a 1.6 diesel so I think the engine's ideally suited for this sort of car um, you know a, a a second car run around a kiddie bus for school and uh, it certainly accelerates as fast as you need a good finish all round piano black around the radio or the, the Sony radio is all part of the piano black same colour um, again on the gear tunnel you've got the aluminium insets the aluminium insets on the steering wheel around the door handles here nice and quiet further away ah that's better back seat's nice and comfortable too and as I say it's it's easier to get in the back I would say um, also I've noticed these days especially on the three doors where the, the doors have to kind of 
you know, the, the obviously bigger doors and you open them, you're just getting out. As you get out, the door blows shut and gets you right in the calf. So, um, as I say, I, I certainly wish more doors were like that. got uh, your little convex mirror there so you can see what's going on in the back what your kids are doing <laughs> without taking your eyes off the road as well let's see let's have a look so wipers are all good let's see back wiper yep that's uh, that's good too so pretty much I can do the back windows without fear of ruining my camera again yeah, back windows work fine. In cup holders here, you've got another little oddments tray there with a, a 12 volt power socket in there. Silky smooth Ford gearbox. So uh, that bend there is uh, quite lethal, people fly around it there's always a car parked here and there's always cars coming this way So ideal for these sort of roads, these conditions. It's uh, good suspension on it. Nothing, nothing too hard. Soaks up all the bumps, and it's uh, it, it does. It really looks like a, a, a new car. just go a bit further then I'll uh, finish the test drive but what I will do is show you how to um, pair a mobile how to delete a mobile how to stream audio how to get rid of a fly out your your car when you can't let your windows down Excellent. It's gone. Let's see, is there anything I've missed? Well, we've got the uh, trip computer there. It tells you average miles per gallon, speed. Uh, the mileometer at the moment is registering 28,374 miles. Actually, I'll, I'll pull up around the corner and, and tell you the service history, or show you the service history. 
much the light's changed now. Um, fortunately, we've got the uh, invoices as well for the servicing. It's uh, so important these days for us to check the service history. We we had a car the other day, it's been serviced every January for six years except for one. And of course we phoned the garage up, couldn't get through to them, they promised to ring us back, they didn't. Rang the next day, the service department was still engaged but the uh, extremely efficient receptionist. Um, she went on the system for me and checked and it had been serviced they just not stamped the book so they destroyed the car's service history really we, you know we've we've brought it back to life but it had a full main dealer full franchise service history and did not stamp the book which I, I just find is absolutely unforgivable It really is. Um, they should tie service <laughs> book stamping to their uh, the bonuses they get on cars. They'd, they'd soon stamp the books then. Another pet hate of mine is no ink on the service stamp block so you can't read who serviced it and but I'll, I'll just show you one in, in a moment that there's absolutely no excuse for I'll just whip it down this dual carriageway here to show you how it goes this little one litre engine blimey look at all the traffic that's not my best idea I do think they quite they, they sound quite good. I'm not going to get up to any speed along here, so I'll just pull in the parking and uh, tell you about the service history. Okay, so service history. Here we go. 27th of 9th, 2017 at 8,106. And that is, I can't read it, Ford Red H. 16th of 10th, 2018, 15,905. I mean, these look like a kid's written them. Uh, Ford Red H again. 19th of the 8th, 2019 at 22,267 miles, uh, Bristol Street Motors. And, th and then we come on to this last stamp, which is really, really disappointing. 14th of the 8th, 2020 at 28,003. Now, we always check the service history to make sure there's too many people forging service histories um, and, and so on. And we make sure that the car, and it's all so easy especially with service books here with staples in, it's so easy for somebody to have the, the correct book with, let's see, a 
Actually, they don't even do that anymore, do they? They don't even write the, the owner's name in. It's just a joke. So, 14th of the 8th, 2020, 28,003. Service to current operations scheduled by Alan Ford, Tackbrook Park, Warwick. Now, is that the worst service stamp you've ever seen in your life? For like people like me, fortunately we've got the invoice, so we can check it. But where do you start with that? There's no telephone number, no email address, no no website, no nothing. For for a main Ford dealer, that is absolutely disgraceful. Um, and if, if there's anybody from Ford watching, sort yourself out for goodness sake. That's 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 just a joke. <laughs> 